Hey guys, I'm back with another one. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to make money on Fiverr for beginners, because this is just a really cool platform to make money on, but there is a lot of competition. I mean, there are over 830,000 freelancers on Fiverr in like 160 countries. So how in the world can you stand out so someone can pick your services? That's what we're talking about today. I have found some of the most successful people on Fiverr to get their best tips and tricks to help set you guys up for success. Now, ultimately, the way that you make money on Fiverr is that you have to first create a gig to advertise your services. You get an order, complete it, and then you get paid. You know, that's just putting it pretty simply. But you need to know how to create a gig and what to include in it if you want to be successful. And just how to start gaining momentum because as a beginner, you're going to need to get reviews and things like that just to help you out get more orders. Now, I also received the latest trending report on Fiverr. So I want to share that with you guys so you can know the most requested services on Fiverr just to help you figure out, you know, what you want to do. All right, let's get started. Now, real quick, for those who don't know, what is Fiverr? Fiverr is an online marketplace where people buy and sell micro gigs all across the world. Now you can start from the age of just 13. Now when Fiverr first got started, micro gigs had to start at $5, hence the name Fiverr. But it has since evolved where you can now price your gig at whatever price you decide. Now micro gigs can be anything from graphic design services, writing, social media, video, editing, and just honestly a ton of other things. Now, it's not a job site, but it's a place where businesses and buyers, they go to Fiverr and just browse through different sellers' profiles to find the best match for their work. Now, to get started at selling on Fiverr, the first thing you need to do is figure out what service you want to offer. You know, browse through the different categories to get a feel for what you want to do. Now, the more you can narrow down your service, the better. For example, if you want to design logos, you would go to graphics and design and then go to logo design. Now you see here, if we just scroll down, there are 14,305 services available. So this is a lot of competition right here. So what you wanna do is try and narrow down your service to something very specific. So for example, if I narrow this down and I click on hand drawn, that would narrow the services only down to 805. So it's much easier to stand out in a crowd of 805 than 14,000. So definitely when you're trying to consider what your service you're gonna provide, Try and narrow it down to something very specific. All right, so once you found what you'd like to sell, check out the other seller profiles who are doing what you want to do just to get an idea of how much you should charge, offer, and just, you know, to get an idea of what they're selling and upselling. Once you're ready to get started, you need to do the following. Click join in the upper right-hand corner of the website and sign in using either your email address, Facebook, Google, or Apple account. Now, I recommend using your email. Next, you're gonna choose a username and password and pick a username that's either your name or something very specific to what you do. You know, for example, if you're a website expert, maybe your username could be website expert. Then you wanna confirm your account through your email and click on edit profile. And when you return back to the website, you can get started updating your Fiverr user profile. Now your Fiverr user profile is very important. Now this is where you can showcase your talent, skills, education, and any certifications. Be sure to upload a profile picture of yourself or a picture that showcases your skills. So if you design logos, maybe add a logo as your profile picture, just so people can know right offhand what you do. Then you're gonna to need to fill out the description. You know, go in detail about your work experience, projects you worked on, and your area of expertise. You definitely wanna use keywords to this area that's relevant to the services that you wanna provide. So if you design logos, you wanna niche down to business logos, be sure to include business logos in your description. Now, once you've completed your profile, it's time to set up your gig to showcase your services. Now, gigs are your service packages or offerings. Now, as a beginner, you're gonna be labeled as a new seller. Fiverr has different levels based on your monthly performance that will ultimately lead to more traffic to your gigs and orders the higher you go. Now, for a real quick explanation of each level, I'm gonna put an article from Fiverr in the description below if you wanna have more details about what you need to achieve to get to each level. So you are allowed seven different gigs as a new seller. Now, even if you have one service that you wanna provide, still create seven different gigs for the same service, but just word them differently and use different photos. 
Now you can look at it like this. If you had seven different opportunities to be hired, would you use them? So one title example could be, I will create a professional business logo. And another one could be, I will design a modern business logo. You know, and so on and so on. Just make them slightly different. Now for best results, your gig title should be between 30 to 50 characters and be sure to add your main keyword in your title and something that will be attractive to your potential clients. So if time is something that will be of interest to them or a benefit to them, you can add, I will create a professional modern business logo in 24 hours. You know, something like that. Next, you're going to need to choose which category for your gig. Now, if you don't know what to choose for your gig category, like I always say, use your competition for a guide. Check out what your competitors chose to find the right one. Now, you can find the category right above their gig picture. You'll also want to add auto-populated relevant tags that Fiverr provides. Next is scope and pricing. Now, this is going to be something new for you guys. So once again, this is an area where you want to use your competition as a guide to help you create your packages. You know, there's no need to reinvent the wheel, see what's already out there and do better than what the current competition is doing. Try to lower your price just to get a couple of reviews under your belt and over deliver to make sure that you are getting a five star rating. Now you can always start off with the basic price to lure your targeted clients into and take advantage of the add-ons and the extra services to charge more. You know, this is really the secret sauce to making money on Fiverr. Next is your description. Now a good gig description should tell your potential client who you are, what you are offering, and why they should hire you. Be sure to include your main keyword in the description as well. There's also an FAQ section, so you wanna come up with questions that people may be asking, like what is your return policy or something like that. Next is showcase your services in the gig gallery. Now, if you wanna do well on Fiverr, you should definitely take advantage of this area to showcase your expertise with a video and images of your services. Adding video to your gigs not only helps them rank better in the search results, but it also is known to help you make more sales. And it's just nice to see who is going to be working on your project and just adds on a level of credibility for you. Now your video should be no more than 60 seconds and it should include who you are, what you're offering, and why they should hire you. And you should also upload images of your work. Fiverr requires you to at least upload one. Now if you want to do collages of your services and things like that, you can definitely use Canva. I use it all the time. It's free, it's very easy to use, and it's just highly recommended. Now this will take you some time to do, but it's important to get it right because this will determine how well you do on Fiverr. Now I've got some more tips on how to get orders, but first, here's how the payment process works. Now when a buyer places an order, they pay Fiverr. So 80% of the funds are pending for 14 days, just for financial processing and just to wait until the service is actually done and the buyer is satisfied with their purchase. After those 14 days, and if the buyer was okay with your work, then the money is marked as cleared and available to withdraw within your account. Now you can receive payment by either direct deposit, PayPal, or through Fiverr's revenue card. Just so you guys know, Fiverr takes 20% off of every order. Now I know this is kind of brutal, but they are bringing people to their platform so they can actually order services from you. And that's a lot of work and money to get, you know, with marketing costs to get people to their platform. Now, I know it's brutal, but this is just one of the factors if you're going to use this platform, you need to be aware of. Also, you have to take in consideration that you're also going to be paying taxes on these too, and you are an independent contractor. So I would definitely recommend at least taking 30% and putting that money aside for taxes. So when you're pricing your gigs, definitely consider all these factors because you want to still be profitable. So take this all into consideration when you're pricing your gig and to decide if you even want to use this platform. Okay, so as a beginner now, you're set up with your profile, you have gigs, so what do you do now? There are a couple of things. Now, the first thing that you have to do is wait. <laughs> you know, you don't want to just think that you're going to sign up, post your gig, and bam, you're going to get orders. Actually, that could happen, and it does happen sometimes. One of the sellers that I found, they found work in three days without doing any work other than just posting their gig and he designed logos. So it does happen and it can happen for you. I hope it does, but I just wanna manage your expectations and just know that it could take a month or more to get any orders, but there are still some things that you can do to increase your chance at getting orders, given the fact that you have set up your profile and gigs the right way. So the first thing I recommend you guys do is download the Fiverr app to try to be available online as often as you can because Fiverr has a tool where you can actually filter by sellers who are currently online. 
And buyers may find this attractive, but I actually want to talk to someone who's currently online. And this could definitely narrow down the searches and get you found. So you want to make sure that you download the app. You also want to price slightly lower than your competition to get your orders quickly. You know, this is only in the beginning. As you get more orders, you can gradually increase your prices. You can also promote your businesses to local businesses and have them pay you through Fiverr just so you can start getting some reviews under your belt. The only downside to this is that you have to, as a business owner, have to sign up for a Fiverr account and they may not want to do that. One of the sellers I know, they would DM a bunch of local businesses and he would go to their websites and show them things that he can help them improve on. And if they agree, they pay him for his service using Fiverr. He sent dozens of requests out and he only received two responses. So this is definitely something you have to hustle for. It's not going to be that easy, but it, that's going to take a lot of work and you might make more by not going through Fiverr because you don't have to get the 20% cut. But it's up to you. This could be a great way to just get reviews under your belt very quickly. Another way that is probably frowned upon by Fiverr is that one of the Fiverr sellers, they started by using different Facebook groups where they could actually trade favoriting each other's gigs and exchanging gigs to help promote services in the Fiverr algorithm. If you can actually get your friends and family to purchase your services, that is more ideal if you can, but I know everybody can't. I definitely recommend if you want to use this platform, only use it as an additional source of income. Don't use this as your full source of income. All right, now from the latest report from Fiverr on the top trending services report, it says that buyers are searching more for graphics for streamers, social media management, photo editing, voiceover, blog posts, and illustrations. Now I'm gonna put this report in the description below if you guys wanna check it out. You know, there are a ton of other services on Fiverr that sell really well, but these are just the most popular. So are you going to give this platform a try? Let me know in the comments section. I'd love to hear from you guys. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications so you guys don't miss out on another video. And if you find that Fiverr is not the right platform for you, I'm going to put my article on 30 legitimate ways that you can make money from home part-time in the description below just to give you guys some more ideas on how you can make money. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.